Hi guys, I hope you're all well. Um, so over the last few weeks I have been working on my Valentine's collection as you know from the last video and um, yep got one of the tops on here so that's the extra love top, the sweater and um, I've also been just trying to organise my workspace and um, my stock and fashion week is actually starting tomorrow in New York so I've been kind of working on like a creativity um month for the love of fashion week so um yeah in terms of tidying up and organizing i i realized that my workspace was just not i weren't making the right i weren't making the use i can't get my words out <laughs> um i wasn't utilizing my space as i could as well as i could have so like i had um, my sewing desk say here and then opposite my sewing desk I had like these bookshelves where I've got like fabric samples and things I've been working on and then um yeah one day I was literally taking a nap and I was lying there and I was just thinking how can I um you know utilize my space and especially like with my baby Isaiah as well I just found that there was just too much going on in here when I bring his bouncer in here and I've got one table there one table there the ironing board so um, yeah, I was literally just thinking, how can I kind of make use of my space properly? So I had a good clear up and um, yeah, and now it's nice and orderly and I feel like I can, you know, work properly and have Isaiah in here safely without, you know, the risk of, you know, any accidents. So um, yeah, I'm really happy about that. And um, also just been trying to like sort out my stock and find a home for them just so everything again is orderly easy for me to find and you know I'm not wasting time trying to sort stuff out so um yeah that's what I've been up to in terms of um you know getting organized over the last few weeks February now and then New York Fashion Week is starting tomorrow like I mentioned um I really enjoyed last year when I done like my 30 days of creativity on Instagram so over that period of time that was when we first went we went into our first lockdown and um I literally just spent that time experimenting like with various um techniques on the sewing machine and that's where I came up with the the mask where I was making masks as well so um I thought it'd be good since we're in another lockdown I can't keep up anymore I don't know if it's three or four here in London but yeah whatever we're still in lockdown um so I thought um it'd be a good time during fashion week to again like use this time to experiment um draw on inspirations from like some of the shows that I've watched and um you know by like checking out the color schemes um the techniques that they're using and trying to you know Bring those techniques into like some of my designs that I've already done so that's the plan for the next month so um, I think I've decided I'm gonna call it um, yeah creativity for the love of fashion week so yeah I'm gonna start off with um, New York tomorrow and then after New York we've got London and London is focusing on like sustainability fashion which is great and um, yeah for that week what I'll be doing is making use of like literally whatever I create is going to be using offcuts. So, you know, that will be kind of my tribute to the um, sustainability side of fashion um, and during fashion week. So, yes, yeah, so I'm looking forward to um, focusing on like more experimenting and seeing what comes up um, whilst I'm doing that as well. So, yeah, that should be fun. <laughs>
as loads of you are asking um like about like how I'm managing like working and having a baby and stuff I thought I'd give a, a like a quick recap as you know if you watched the last video I told you about no the so the first video I told you about the routine that I thought I had and then the second video I told you that there was no routine so um yeah now um we're at the stage where we're trying to um sleep train him and he's five months now so um it was going well like literally they say this there's a few i've been researching and there's like a few different sleep training techniques that you can do on babies apparently you can do it from around four months old or so um so yeah one of them is like literally just leave them to cry another one is what's it called? i can't remember it's called fur bar or something technique where you will leave them say for five minutes go in them come go in back go back into the room comfort them then leave them for 10 minutes and you're meant to do that over i think over the period of like a week to 10 days or something but i don't we don't we done our own little kind of mix up kind of thing um so what we did is we um so the first time we done we left him for five minutes but it was so hard because um he actually looked devastated like literally my my poor baby looked like i'd left him in the lion's den like the, the tears <laughs> that were coming out of his out of his eyes um when i left him so like literally the first time i failed like my husband was like dion don't be weak he's fine but then i just had to pick him up and then i just put, put him to sleep that time and then i thought okay we'll try again the next week and um i got a bit stronger that week and um i had to just get into my head like he's not in danger he's safe he's in his cot um you know he's it's literally just him in the cot it's safe so he'll be fine and he just needs to get used to it and my mum was just like Dion you're just gonna have to leave him to cry that's the only way he's gonna learn so we leave him for five minutes I'll go in and comfort him then leave him for 10 minutes go back in then leave him for 15 minutes and um literally he screamed his eyes out for 55 minutes the first day like screamed the only time he stopped was literally when i went back in the room so um yeah it was really difficult and then after that um the next time we done it again the next day and it got easier so it went from 55 minutes down to i think 40 minutes and then the next day it went down again so like over about six days like by this by day six he he like literally, literally i put him down in the cot and that was it he just went straight to sleep he sucked his bum so he put his bum in his mouth sucked his bum it was fine so i thought oh yes we've conquered it like we've done it he's trained like um he can go to sleep by himself but um obviously again i was wrong um so day six was good day seven was good day eight he wasn't having it like not at all he cried again for ages and the next day he refused again so I literally had to um go back to, go back to the beginning and put him to, put him to sleep so that was but I, i'm thinking it might be because of his teething because now after so it was a week of sleep training which went well then there was a week where he kind of regressed and um he wasn't having it like he wouldn't sleep unless i put him to sleep or fed him to sleep or something um but then now he's actually been quite good so i think i think we're there i think he's got it now so i think um I think he's trained like sleep trained but you never know i'll do another video in a couple of weeks time and i'll probably tell you a different thing so yeah that's where we're at now Thanks,